first we consider Max and Gilbert model of a DNA sequencing. First we can see the Max and Gilbert method of sequencing. Okay. This method of sequencing was developed by Allen Maxim and Walter Gilbert in 1976. Okay, and this method is also known as chemical method of DNA sequencing. Okay, the Maxim Gilbert method of sequencing is was developed by Alan Alan Maxim and Walter Gilbert in 1976. And this method also is known as chemical method of DNA sequencing. Because in this procedure, uh, this method of DNA sequencing chemicals are used to break the DNA. Okay, and this was the method first widely adapted for DNA sequencing. Okay, this method was first widely adapted method for DNA sequencing. Okay, now we can see uh, the procedures steps involved in Max and Gilbert sequencing. Okay, we can see the steps involved in Max and Gilbert sequencing. Okay, first we have to take the double standard DNA. That to be sequenced and that to, uh, to denature into single standard DNA. Okay, first we have to take the double standard DNA that to be sequenced and that to be denatured into single standard DNA, single standard DNA. Okay, and that single standard DNA is DNA is one end to be labeled with radioisotope. Okay, that single standard DNA one end should be labeled with the radioisotope. Normally P32 is used for a for radio labeling. Okay. And then this labeled DNA samples add into four tubes. Okay. This labeled DNA will be added into four tubes. And this each samples were subject to chemical treat treatment that specifically destroy one or two of the four nucleotide bases in each four of each of four reactions. Okay. And this reaction digests the labeled DNA into different fragments with the very length. Okay, uh, this uh, chemicals that will destroy one or two of the four nucleotide base in each of uh, four reactions. Sometimes this reaction will cleave G, and in another reaction that will cleave A and G, and in another reaction that will cleave C nucleotide, and the other, other tube it cleaves C and T. Okay. This figure explain how we will do the Max and Gilbert sequencing. Okay, we I will explain how we will do the Max and Gilbert model of sequencing. Okay, uh, we already told that we'll isolate the DNA and we'll make it into single standard DNA and we'll label that DNA. Okay, we'll label that single standard DNA and that labeled single standard DNA will di distribute into four tubes. Okay that will uh, distribute this for uh, this already labeled single strand dna into four tubes and in that four tubes the specific specific reaction will be take place okay the specific reaction will be take place in that uh, tubes radial doubled single standard dna okay radial doubled single standard dna uh, we have split into uh, four tubes okay four two one two three four we split into four tubes in this tube, this reaction will cleave A and G nucleotides. Okay, this reaction will cleave A and G nucleotides. And in the second tube, that will cleave the G nucleotide from the chain of DNA. And here, it is the third tube that will cleave. This reaction will lead to cleave C nucleotide from the chain. And in the fourth tube, that will cleave C and T nucleotides from the Chain. Okay, C and T nucleotides from the chain. Okay, after the chemical treatment of these four tubes, we'll load this uh, samples in a polyacrylamide gel. Okay, we'll load this fragment, this samples in a polyacrylamide gel. Okay.
okay after the reaction we load this uh, four tubes in the polyacrylamide gel gel to separate the different dna fragments okay to separate, separate the dna fragment and expose this polyacrylamide gel phosphorus into for autoradiography okay for autoradiography because this uh, dna is uh, labeled radio labeled that's why it's uh, give the autoradiography so after the uh, polyacrylamide gel refers expose this gel into the uh, for autoradiography and we can this uh, we can see bands different bands in the uh, autography films okay we can see the different bands in the autoradiography film from that we can uh, find out which is which is which are the dna sequence okay now we can see we can see this uh, if you come here uh, this is the downstream part of the, okay the, this is the lowest okay this is the uh, uh, down part of this uh, gel okay this is the uh, lowest part of this gel okay the lowest part of the gel this fragment will be very uh, this fragments are very will be small okay this fragment will be very small okay here you can see you can identify which are the this sequence okay see in which well this uh, bands are observed okay in which well well these bands are observed you see in the c plus t okay c plus t reaction here one band is there c plus t reaction here one band is there and so we can say that this band is a c or t okay c or t then we have to confirm whether it is c or t so just check the well of uh, c reaction c reaction here you can see the reaction so it's confirmed that it's, uh, in c and uh, c at c plus t two we have given the band that's why it's called as a is, is a c is a c nucleotide okay the c nucleotide okay c nucleotide here you can see uh, for example here you can see uh, this is the labeled uh, labeled in la labeling for oh, here one nucleotide is there that is labeled and this is the first band attached first nucleotide attached with this g and this is c this is the first one this is the second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one okay and the labeling is done with the g nucleotide okay so here this is c because of this is the uh, uh, low molecular weight, low molecular weight means this is a small fragment of DNA we observed in the, during the uh, chemical reaction. So that breakage will be here, okay, after uh, first nucleotide, okay, sorry, uh, from here, this uh, GA before, before the first nucleotide, that breakage will be uh, happen here. This G and C, this breakage is okay here. So you can see the first nucleotide is a a C and next we can see uh, here uh, any band is there so next near uh, to, uh, top of this lower uh, this band we can see any band is there that's uh, one, one band is there here it is our seen in the C plus T tube okay C plus T tube is uh, there now we have to check whether is any band is in the same uh, length same pattern in the C tube but here there is no uh, band is there so we can confirm it is a a t okay t so that t is came because of you can see after this one one break is okay and see this bit between this breakage is okay that's why is given somewhat high molecular weight and you have to check any other band is on top of that and here you can here see here one band this band is a in a, a plus g2 okay this band is in a a plus g reaction tube so uh, that time we have to check whether any band is observed in the G. Okay, so here there is no band in G, so we can say this is a, a. Okay, this is a, a as A. So uh, okay, this we can say it is as a A. So this break occur here. Okay, uh, break occur here. Two and three here break is occur. And next we have to we, call, we have to see and uh, uh, any other band is there. the same we can see here. In this one band in the C plus T and one band in C. Okay, one band in C plus T and one band. That's why this may be C or T. Okay, that's why you have to confirm whether this C that we have you check in the C tube that time C is there. Okay, C is there. And 
So that's the breakage is occur here. The breakage is occur here. And after that, we have to check any other bands. So that we can see here on band the G2 band A G A plus G2 tube also is the band is there. So we have to confirm whether it is A or G. So that time we will check in the G2 that time G that shown the band. Okay, and after that, uh, here also you can see that here back cutting will be uh, we happen here, and after that, we will go to that here. Uh, band is there not only C plus T it is there, C plus T is there, but there is no banding in C, so it is a T. And after that, we we'll go to here uh, in seventh, uh, the here one A plus C2 be having one uh, uh, band. So, but if there is no band in G, so it is a A. Okay, so we can see this is a C here T, A, C, G, A, A. Okay, this is a sequence. Okay, this is a sequence. So from here, we can read that uh, sequence is a C, T, A, C, G, T, A. This is a sequence. Okay, and uh, this is about. Uh, Max and Gilbert mode of uh, DNA sequencing. So I hope you understood this uh, DNA sequencing. Thank you. Thank you for listening.